circumstances, with the number of players you had, Trey Golden goes out. That's the definition of a tough, gritty win for your team. Well, we talked about it before the game, you know, toughness and, and talking, you know, and, and we needed that, and I didn't know how bad we were going to need it. Um, it's one of the things that, you know, we want to build this program on is that toughness and, and being able to fight through adversity and challenges. You've asked me twice in the last 48 hours what the morale and the mood of the team was. Well, I think we, we showed it, and, and, and I, I mean that with all respect because these kids have it. You know, they really do, and we're not perfect, but we showed a great fight today. We showed great toughness, and we got big minutes off the bench from some unlikely characters. You know, Ronnie coming in um, did a great job for us. Corey then playing the entire game at the point. Stacy Poole was a big factor for us. You know, he could have dropped his head because he didn't play well at North, against North Carolina, didn't play the game before. He didn't, and that's what you need. Good programs, not teams, good programs have that type of resiliency, and, and we showed a glimpse of it today, Brandon. Well, and foul resiliency. Not only are you short on bodies, but then you get guys in foul trouble, but everyone just stepped up and stayed the course. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, some teams use the next man up term and all that. We've never really talked about that, but guys are ready to go, and we got in some foul trouble. Um, you know, Q, I thought, was poised to have a really good game for us. I liked the matchup. I liked his attitude heading into the game, and he gets two quick ones, so he doesn't get to play much. But, um, yeah, we had some interesting combinations out there. If you would have had a meeting with me before the year and said you're going to have Ron and then Marcus at the four and Corey, I, I, I would have looked at you like you were doing some stuff that you shouldn't be doing, you know. And But our guys showed it, and, and I think the anchor – in the whole deal was Daniel Miller. He was the anchor, and um, that was a good anchor to have today. Well, very good anchor. Both sides were a little sloppy there. Well, there were a lot of turnovers in this basketball game, so I would say 19 turnovers, but they turned the ball over 16 times too. Yeah, you know, 19, it's, you know, at times, trying to run some stuff when guys are in the, not one position over, two positions over is a little difficult. So we were, um, we were sloppy at times, and that's how they scored. I thought our half-court defense, and it'll be interesting to look, was really good. The zone helped us. Um, made some mistakes in that, but you're going to do that. Uh, we rebounded the ball well, and we just found a way. And that, that's, that, that's the toughness. And when we were in doubt, we talked it out, and that made a big di difference on the defensive end. Heck, you look at your last three road ACC games. You went at Boston College, should have won at North Carolina State. Yep. You lose a tough one in overtime. You come in here and really dominate Wake Forest, who was 12-1 and one at home. So some momentum for your team. It's interesting. You know, sometimes, and, and we got to get it going at home. I'm not, I'll be the first to tell you that. Um, but sometimes maybe a little more focus, a little less distraction, maybe, you know, uh, uh, an attitude of let's go out there and it's us against the world type of deal. Maybe that's what this team needs. Maybe we should wear blue uniforms at home next time. <laughs> well, lastly, you know, I looked at the under four media timeout coming out of that, and you had Robert Carter up and Trey Golden up, both teaching guys on the floor that were going out there, and that's what you need. That's what you need. And, and I, I mentioned, you know, Travis and, and Robert over the last, you know, month have been tremendous, and now Trey, you know, and, and we'll have to see where he's at. Uh, he was nursing it the last couple of days, felt pretty good this morning, but he made the one move. And he kind of got leg whipped a little bit, and that kind of aggravated the groin. So um, we need, you know, obviously, we we need him back, and hopefully, over the next 48 hours, we'll get that. Hell of a win, coach! Congrats. Thank you, Brandon.